Hello, this is Jack from Cetonic Synth. In this video, we're going to build a Boeing Discrete Transistor Low Pass Gate Kit for Eurorack. The Boeing is a 4HP active low pass gate with a fast response, low bleed, and damping capabilities, which make it great for percussive patches, VCA behavior, and compression. Before soldering, it's a good idea to check out our build manuals and the bill of materials at cetonixsynth.com slash documentation and take stock of all the parts in the kit. Each Boeing kit should contain one power cable, three metal shaft potentiometers, knobs and hardware, four Thonka conjacts with nuts, two hand-rolled vac trolls, one red LED, one switch with hardware, and one power header. Let's build this kit. First, we're going to install through-hole parts on the rear of the board. Place the power header in its footprint and solder one leg so it stays in place. Place the power cable on the header and flip the board over, and solder the rest of the pins. Make sure the six center ground pads aren't shorted to the power rails. Now it's time to mount the back trolls. Be sure to orient the LED side upwards and put the short leg or cathode in the square hole of each LED footprint. Solder only one leg of each LED so that you can adjust the orientation and depth. Then do the same with the other vac troll. Once everything looks good, solder the other legs of each vac troll and clip the leads with an edge cutter. Now it's time to prep the front panel hardware. Clip the tabs off the potentiometers and put one nut on the switch. Put all hardware in the appropriate place, but don't solder anything yet. Place washers over each of the potentiometers and slide the panel over the hardware while making sure everything stays in place. Tighten the nuts on the potentiometers, switch, and thunka conjacks by hand so they are relatively snug. Flip the module over and seat the LED in its front panel hole, then solder each leg and clip it with your edge cutters. Then solder the rest of the hardware. Leave the potentiometer under the back trolls for last.
gently push the back trolls aside so you can access the side legs of the damping potentiometer. Then solder the potentiometer in place, taking care not to touch the rubber of the back trolls with your soldering iron. Gently push the back trolls back into place and use tweezers or a screwdriver to separate the legs of the back trolls so they aren't touching. At this stage, it's time to test your module. Once you've made sure the module is working, put on the knobs. Don't forget to use the brass spacers under each knob if they are included. Tighten the jacks with a tool if you have one. Congratulations, you've finished building the Boeing. Enjoy your module! <laughs>